Welcome back. Today we're going to be making an MBTI and Enneagram analysis on one of video games most interesting villains, Zachary Hale Comstock from Bioshock Infinite. Now before we get into this analysis, I'm going to be giving you a spoiler warning. There's going to be a lot of information that's going to be leaked out here. So if you want to understand what I'm talking about, I suggest you play the game. We're going to jump directly into the analysis. His dominant function is extroverted feeling. Zachary Hill Comstock is a superb example of an unhealthy FE user. He's a pathological liar and a master of manipulation. He is so charismatic and popular with the people of the United States government that they funded his creation for Colombia. This is where we get to see his influence explode. He created a party called the Founders that instilled the beliefs he gained from the culture below upon them. Before we proceed, keep in mind that American society in the late 19th century had vastly different views and values than today's American society. Some of those views revolved around elitism, militarism, white supremacy, and ultranationalism. Comstock, being an unhealthy FE user, took those values to heart and turned them up a notch. Even the Confederacy had nothing on this guy. And as time passed, Comstock met Rosalind Lattes, and they both worked together for a while. He provided her with an income to fuel her research and experimentation. She made a city float. Comstock knows how to strike a good deal. As time advanced, Comstock gained more power and more influence over his subjects, and proclaimed himself the prophet of their society. He secretly used the terrors created by the Lutes machine and predicted the future to prove that he can see the future. This fooled his supporters, and they concluded that he could truly predict the future, and he used that to his advantage and furthered his own ambitions. A lot of this information can be found on the wiki for Comstock and the founders. Now we'll be looking into FE examples we could recognize within the game. The most obvious example is how Comstock can manipulate anyone into believing him by using emotional pitches. He often does this to both Booker and Elizabeth. Here are two examples. For Booker's example, Comstock had all his guards stand down because he wanted to deceive Booker into believing and accepting that he was an omnipotent prophet that knows everything about him. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Booker. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This will end in blood. This does somewhat get under Booker's skin. This tactic was used to dishearten Booker by making him feel insignificant and powerless against the almighty being that is Zachary Comstock. For Elizabeth, he attempts to mislead her into believing that Booker is the false shepherd that will lead her astray. And then he uses the siphon against her, causing her to scream in pain while explaining he does this all for love. What I do, I do for love! This is a classic example of a manipulation tactic called playing the victim, where the abuser pretends that they're the victim and they don't want to hurt the actual victim. Aside from manipulation and following the masses, Comstock's actions are always driven by his overwhelming emotions. Even his desire to burn the Sodom below was because America disowned him after he opened fire on the Chinese citizens during the Boxer Rebellion, and that caused them to promote Colombia as the only true America, to further unite people by making them feel unique and special. Comstock's auxiliary function is introverted intuition. Zachary Comstock may be a fake prophet, but man does he ever use his NI function effectively. I'll be explaining this through a brief story about how Comstock was born. At 16 years old, Booker DeWitt felt regret for his actions at Wounded Knee and sought redemption through baptism. From that baptism, he was forever changed. He was no longer Booker DeWitt. He was born anew in the blood of the Lamb. After this event, he changed his name to Zachary Hale Comstock and his identity along with it. Comstock became infatuated with Christianity and wanted to share his beliefs with everyone. After all, it saved him from his sinful past. One day, an angel named Columbia gave him a vision of a city that he would create for his followers. He named this city Columbia after that angel, according to the wiki. Comstock began to view the idea of America as a new Eden and the Founding Fathers as prophets of God's great plan. His vision was now set in motion and immediately turning the Founding Fathers George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin into saints who would guide his citizens to righteousness. 
As time passed, Comstock's new idea grew more and more radical. This caused disagreements with the American government, leading to Columbia and Comstock being disowned by them. Columbia's idea of America being the New Eden was challenged. He then later claimed that Columbia was the only true America and the true New Eden. Now that we know that information, we can discuss NI examples that can be seen within game. We can observe the first example in the action to murder Lady Annabel Comstock in the Lutesses. Our dastardly villain predicted that his wife would betray him by telling the citizens of Columbia that Elizabeth was not their daughter. With repentance, need come truth. I can suffer his lies no longer. To stop this from happening, he formulated a plot to murder Lady Comstock while her maid Daisy Fitzroy was working and blamed it on her. As for the Lutesses, Comstock predicted once they saw the future he wanted for Columbia, they tried to stop him. He was right. He sent Jeremiah Fink to sabotage the Lutess device, while both Rosalind Lutess and Robert were inside of it. This did indeed kill them, but also indirectly caused the Lutesses to exist across all time and space. We can see our second example on how Comstock changed history to make himself and Columbia look like heroes while antagonizing the minorities and individuals who fight for them, such as Abraham Lincoln. He knows if history contradicts itself, his people will see him as a fraud. Therefore, why not change history? Comstock is a clever man. I'll give him that. Before we discuss our last example, there is a downfall to using too much NI. And this can be seen at the end of the game, when Booker and Elizabeth meet Comstock face to face. He realizes that he planned everything for nothing. He should have just went to Elizabeth in person and convinced her to join his cult using his charisma, instead of waiting for Booker to rescue her and bring her to him. Sometimes a practical solution can be the most effective. Too much introvert intuition can cause an individual to become delusional within their dreams and visions. And as a consequence, it disconnects them from reality, such as believing your city is a new Noah's Ark. And what is Columbia if not another Ark? For another time. Or that it's your duty to cleanse the Sodom below of the sins through righteous fire, because you were chosen by God. And speaking of setting the world on fire, our final example of NI is exactly that. Comstock had a vision that Elizabeth would be the one to set the world below on fire. And guess what? He was right. Say what you will about Comstock. He was a hell of a fortune teller. Too bad he didn't realize that Elizabeth would break out of her brainwashed state to save Booker from death and stop this all from happening. Next up is Comstock's tertiary function, extroverted sensing. Zachary Hill Comstock does not shy away from this function. He embraces it and often enters FESE loops. He uses this function when he's manipulating others by reading their body language, by using it against them. What am I? Look at you, child. You're hey, a mess. Hey, let go of her. Elizabeth, everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? His SE function also manifests within his surroundings. If anything, Comstock is obsessed with the idea of beauty and tries to make everything he's involved with look stunning, such as his fake history museum exhibit within the Hall of Heroes or the design of Columbia, which he designed himself, or the sheer beauty of his personal chambers. This guy has trees inside of his personal chambers and like fake lakes. It's ridiculous. And it's that time for a fun fact. We can observe this level of interest and beauty within INFJs and INTJs, which is fascinating. This is because the NI function absorbs information from the unconscious mind, which makes them highly sensitive to beauty, be it visual, metaphorical, or otherwise. All right, fun fact over. Back to our analysis. One of the most interesting in-game examples of his SC can be seen when Comstock presents himself in front of an armed Booker DeWitt just to let him know that he could do whatever he wants. He then commands a nun to set herself on fire to slow Booker down from breaching Monument Island. Comstock does this to mess with Booker because he knows he's going to survive the outcome. He just wants to see him struggle a little bit before he reaches Elizabeth. And now we finally reached his inferior function which is introverted thinking. Comstock neglects his TI function as a consequence of having an extremely developed FE function. This causes him to not rationally think out situations. And an example of that can be reflected within his belief. He wants the world to burn because America didn't agree with his righteous and pure ideas and principles. This is because he truly believes he was chosen by God. 
Therefore, his reasoning must be just and true. If you disagree with it, then you are not worthy, and you'll either be disposed of or humiliated. Here's another example. We can see his lack of TI in allowing Booker to meet him in person. Comstock knows Booker is dangerous and has killed everything he's thrown at him. Yet he assaults Elizabeth in front of Booker. What did he think would happen? Did he assume Booker would just allow him to harm Elizabeth in front of him without any consequences? No. Instead, Comstock thought he could use emotional manipulation to get what he wanted from the situation and relied on his vision that Elizabeth would serve his goals regardless of what happened. What a truly foolish way to die. Before we wrap up this analysis, we'll be looking into the last example of his poor usage of his TI function. Within the DLC, Barry, let's see. This DLC takes place in an alternate universe where Comstock and Booker fought over Anna, and instead of Comstock winning, he lost to Booker. Sadly, Booker wasn't able to pull Anna away from Comstock fast enough. This resulted in the terror decapitating her. Before we wrap up this analysis, we're going to be giving a history lore and fun fact mixed in one. In order for Comstock to have lost Anna in that universe, the Lutesses had to send over 123 alternate Booker DeWitts to other Comstock universes to stop him from winning over Anna. And in one of those universes, after losing Anna, Booker ends up becoming the leader of the Vox Populi. This means both Comstock and Booker, who are the same person, waged war on themselves. Man, I love the lore of this game. Anyways, back to the analysis. Comstock was mortified by the decapitation of Anna, and instead of finding a rational way of dealing with the situation, he decided he was done with it all and asked Lutessus to send him as far away as possible from his timeline. They obliged and sent him to Rapture. The effects of using the terror caused Comstock to forget who he was, and he returned to being Booker DeWitt. However, that didn't fix the core issue. Comstock shared through each multiverse version of himself. His goal was always to steal Booker's child, and if he couldn't succeed, then he'd get an other child. This core issue would be his downfall. Ignorance doesn't fix our problems. Eventually, Elizabeth, filled with vengeance, hunted him down as he was masquerading as Booker DeWitt. She exploited his problem and made him realize who he was. After Comstock realized who he was, a big daddy impaled him with his drill, thus ending his life. Elizabeth's goal in breaking the circle has succeeded. All because Comstock didn't have enough introspection to deal with his own problems in a logical and mature way. And that concludes this analysis. Comstock is a extremely unhealthy ENFJ. And now we're off to the Enneagram segment. And just like Booker, Comstock is very easy to type within the Enneagram system. So, let's look at his traits first. Organized, responsible, conscientious, intolerant, controlling, self-righteous. His goal is to be fair and virtuous. His basic fear is being corrupt and defective. Yet, here he is being corrupt and defective, not believing it and lying to himself. It is clear to me that Comstock is an unhealthy Enneagram 1. He stays within the weaknesses and becomes intolerant towards everything that is not his view. To him, everything he does, he does for God. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. And I go with joy. God, to him, is wrathful and spiteful. Therefore, he will share the same exact traits. But unlike God, Comstock knows he is just a prophet. So he chooses what he thinks is right and will project it upon the people. And speaking of people... His wing is driven by wing too, and this is exactly why he's so good with the people, because he understands their wants and needs. You know why these men will die for it? Because I have seen their future in the glory, the glory. and hence they are content. He could come off as helpful, sincere, and empathetic, but that's not the reality, because we all know that he's very manipulative, and he seeks validation from others by doing things. Hey, look at me. I'm predicting your future. I'm helping you. You should praise me, because I helped you, and this is the mentality that he's using. If he can show that he cares for others, then they will care for him. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. And that just wraps up his Enneagram analysis. He's an unhealthy one wing too. And that's all we have for today, folks. Once again, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, join my cult, wink wonk, and subscribe. Have a very nice day, evening, or night.